man, 2K land, man. Now, check this out, man. This is going to be one of my videos where I might seem a little bit cynical because, uh, you know, it's, I'm a little cranky, man. This is like 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30, whatever it is, man. And uh, I see the 2K community up to their own shenanigans, and it just is what it is at this point, man. Um, full disclosure, I have a pretty high opinion of myself because my IQ was up in the 140s, 50s at six years old, and like I got genius level intellect. So I think I'm a lot smarter than a lot of people a lot of the time, and I just really don't care because I manifest the way that manifested itself in life is where I could just be. I could do the most least amount of work for the most amount of money and then that end up being networking and you know it's all good until something breaks down and then I got to mentally put the whole thing back together but other than that it's a pretty sweet gig so uh it, it is what it is man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man but the boy Mike Wong that boy Mike Wong is bike and so, uh, you know, he's tweeting and stuff. And we're going to talk about all this stuff in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below, man. Check this out. Hey, and then go by the Breeze Tees. Hey, I put this up here for the females, man. All these, any of the female shirts or female sizes, we got this thick and tied for you, girl. I'm going to put some pinks and stuff up here later today, man. All sizes, all everything, man. Hey, look, we got the blessed. That man, I'm living my blessed life. I ain't going back. And then if you want to do some, some, some custom stuff, man, we got the custom hats, custom everything. We, you know, we got that brand new Gym Star Fitness joint. Hey, upload your shirt, size it up real nice, and then bow. There you go right there, man. So check that out. That, that's that's all I wanted to tell y'all about that, man. Breeze Tees. Get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees. And let's just get on with the video. So it all started with this tweet from my boy. Hey, Mike, first of all, Mike, I, you my close personal friend and and like you know what i'm saying you didn't even tell me that you was back and that you was about to be tweeting this stuff man so i take offense to this highly but you know hey look everything said in this video take it with a grain of salt know it's five o'clock in the morning know that i'm being completely sarcastic and this is just all, all got a comedic tone so just just know that so anyway um so so anybody that, that want to take it take it seriously shut the f up shut the f up bro i'm just playing you can't even have fun in this community if you want to get mad debate a brick wall man because you you, uh, you you can't debate me but it is what it is check it out boom mike dropped this do drop this no pun intended he dropped this and he says still hard at work on nba 2k 20 I, I think mike talked like a hero uh the, the hero that we needed still hard at work at 2k nba 2k 24 but we'll talk soon on a small t one small tidbit for now and you know what i'm saying was that a bad batman voice it probably was and hey here we go Hey, rip quick drops. So listen, he ain't said it. I ain't said it. He said it. Rip quick drops. Everybody in the community celebrating. People that don't care nothing about the game, all this stuff. They just want to play the game that they want to, man. They celebrating. And it's, I'm, I'm sitting here like, for what? Like, it doesn't matter. Y'all say rip quick drops and people are, are, are cheering. Listen, man, check out these these dunk packages that i have painstakingly stolen from brutal sim and, and acted like they mine when i put the videos up or whatever and you know what i'm saying i act like they my joints um listen man these are the dunks that are still like what about the lebron james dunk package what about cradles that cradles right here or the one where he do like this and dunk like that in the park or whatever i don't even know what that is i think that's the park flashy dunk which one is that one it's uh I don't even know which one it is, but y'all know which one I'm talking about. All right, quick drops. All right, so they say that's dead. Cradles. These are the dunks that, like I said, I painstakingly stole from Brutal Sim over the course of a year. Uh, straight on Tomahawk. Side on Tomahawk. You really can't block LeBron James dunk package like Anonymous 2K TV say. Uh, then you got your two footers. Um, uh, then you got then you got uh, Michael Jordan and Scottward Pippen, bro. Like like I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know like like why we really celebrating that um shoot if you really know shoes uh clay thompson got some funky stuff in there too man that you can get done and uh and one of the best dunk packages in the game my boy draymond green like like you can you can you can still zach levine rack levine i mean listen there's still dunks in the game that are gonna be annoying and that they're still going to to get get you mad and uh it's, it's gonna seem like this just never happened but like we said scotty pippen and michael jordan lebron james all those the ones that people really don't use but but it is what it is, man. I digress. I just feel like this is much ado, much ado about nothing. But in in typical in typical regular fashion, the people down in the comment section are probably gonna be celebrating, and we just gonna go straight to it right there. That by that uh, iPod King Con, he's just keeping it real, man. I wanna fly like Mike, but uh, you don't even have to worry about it because you can still fly like Mike with that um 
dunk from the free throw line. And we're gonna talk about how how quick we we we're we gonna talk about this just, just, just the simpletonness of the two K community in one second. But uh, he says, don't let this don't let this post distract y'all from the fact that a dude born in 1987 will still be dropping y'all off without it. That's a fact, man. Dudes are still gonna be dropping people off without it. It's, it's not the dunk. It's the pack. It's, it's limit. The anonymous 2K TV did an excellent video yesterday about the limitless takeoff badge itself and how, like, yes, it has been in the game all these times. Then they quantified it, but but it, it's never been to this level. And the limitless takeoff badge itself is the problem. But we're gonna talk about that all that in one second. So he says, how would a casual score now? They still gonna be scoring, bro. You ain't gotta worry about it. They got all them dump packages. As I just said, he said you're done, buddy. Take your casual self and go home. Okay, here we go. Double H says. I'm fiending for it. Yeah, bro, y'all boys be killing me with this. Ling, 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 ling. And then OG Grandmaster Sensei says, he says, uh, just make sure that this doesn't lead to neglecting other. Thank you, Laker fan. Y'all can always count on my boy to 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 come with the level headedness. And he said, just make sure that this doesn't lead to neglecting other animations uh balancing. There's a lot of good animations out there with extremely low dunk requirements and low limitless takeoff requirements as well. Great decision though, as for the quick drops. I don't even think we needed to take that off. Me and Brute, quick drops. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I made a, uh, a, a outside 6'9 in NBA 2K16, which everybody say the best one, I put on two dunks. Quick drop, what is it, quick drops? Even if quick drops were, I think I put on straight on Tomahawks like Brute. Quick drops ever since I could. Or you put on the Carmelo Anthony dunk package because that was quick drops. And then you put on, um. And then you put on baseline reverse off one. That's all you needed. You mean I've been I've been doing like like anonymous say the simplest comp dunks forever. But anyway, straight on Tomahawks. Hey, hey he says uh, yes, Mike. O O M G. We love you. Uh, coming back for NBA 2K24 after seeing this tweet from Mike Wong. Here we go. You know we gotta hype it all the way up and, and just just I mean just, just slather his 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 haunches on this right here. Uh, let me see. Say goodbye to rim runners. No more quick drops. Yeah. All right. All right, bro. Uh, let me see. Power. Power. I know you're mad. You're a top tier rim runner. We all are. Hi, Mike. Uh, quick drops, drops, uh, dead rip, quick drops, confirm you are the goat. It's a great opener tweet. Uh, very, very calculated. Y'all know the whole community will, uh, you know, y'all know the whole community with you on this, uh, on this one. And he said, rip, quick drops, not like we need them anyway, but yeah, exactly. Thank you. Not like we need them anyway, but this is what happens when you MFs complain about stuff that's not even worth complaining about. They, <laughs> they take the stuff out. Two years from now, the MFs will be begging for quick drops back. I agree with it. Hey, Chris Manning said quick drops and, uh, you know, for the dead homies, all that stuff. Hey, Mike, all that stuff. Listen, listen to me, man. Let me, let me listen to me and listen to me good. This is what happens when you allow the inmates to run the asylum and they have no, no uh, knowledge of how the asylum works. I'm going to understand y'all something real quick and I'm going to try to just, just uh, for, 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 for the feeble brains out there that uh, don't understand. Pro all right, so listen, the reason that quick drops seem so quick is because when you program something to activate over a certain distance, right? You activate it to, to, to go over a certain distance, then what's going to happen is this. It, it, it activates over a certain distance, and this is the original distance right here. When you change that distance to this, what will happen is either the animation is going to take longer, which in most cases is never going to happen. The animation is going to be the animation, right? So the animation you've got, you uh, at first, they already had calculated the distance over which it must activate. So you got this much and the animation must play out over this, right? O over over uh, this. So you probably got a one second animation that got to play out over this distance, which is probably one second of time in, in, in space in the game, right? When you stretch that out to two seconds of time, then, like I said, you know, the animation got to slow down, which is never going to happen because the game is going to take the ease, the route of uh, least resistance. And so what's going to happen is it's probably just going to speed up the action to to go over that. That's why quick drop seems so unstoppable. That's why it's because of the limitless takeoff badge. It's not because of, of you know, the, the quick drop itself. And the animation was already quick. So because the animation is quick, they're just going to accelerate him to the basket so that it can play out over that time. That, that's how that's going to happen, man. It is what it is. But I feel like this. 
quick drops itself is not the problem. We got so many other animations in the game that, that you know, people that Brute just laughing because he got 10 dunks and 10 dunk packages again that I've stolen from him that are doing this. It, it does not matter. It's not quick drops. It's limitless takeoff is the issue. Anybody that's watching this that's a comp player or, or plays the game on, on more than a second grade level, they're laughing at this saying, okay, cool, they took out quick drops. We baited him there. They keep pointing the finger at this when it's really this. To me, it's just like it's just like um it's just like when people say like people call me again i'm a network engineer people call a lot of time and they say you know like uh the human component is the biggest threat to security in any in any place right so you know like you know like them, them corporate emails where you, where people call and you don't you don't have a nigerian uncle that's that's uh you well, first of all you've been late yeah been late every day so you know you didn't get that raise but you click on that anyway then you click on the one where it says that that somebody hacked your amazon account and bought an ipad an ipad an I, uh, um, an ipad an I, uh, an ibook or whatever it is and, and three other game systems when you know you know damn well you don't have that much money in your account so how did they even do that because if they did that they need to tell me how they did it because how did you hack my account to put the money in the account to get that and then you still click on that email when you know that's not even your stuff and then last but not least you do not have a nigerian uncle that wants to give you 10 million dollars and then the only thing you need to do is pay 500 dollars in taxes the math don't math it is what it is but we click on these things anyway let me give you all a quick scenario man this is what happens when when you like i said it, that was one time i worked at a law firm and then people were it was known that that hackers or viruses or whatever things were coming in over port 3389 Right, and people were like, so the, so they were like, hey, just turn, just cut off thirty three eighty nine. Do you know how much it took for us to do just to set this whole thing up? It took forever for us to set this whole thing up. We're not turning off thirty three eighty nine. Why are you not turning off thirty three eighty nine? Where are you right now? I'm at home. Do you know what thirty three eighty nine is? A lot of people don't know what thirty three eighty nine is. Thirty three eighty nine is the remote desktop protocol. If I turn off thirty three eighty nine, guess what? You're not gonna work from home. You're is coming into the office and that's what's going to it's just going to be what it is now i'm in the office so you can be in the office with me i do not care if you're in this office with me but i tell you what i can do instead of turning out 3389 and you coming in here and bothering my ass all day what we're going to do is this we're going to set up a vpn we're going to do dual factor authentication over the vpn all this stuff can still be hacked anyway but it's still just an extra layer of protection we're going to turn off 3389 on the WAN, and we're gonna make it only accessible through the LAN. And so that way, when you connect to the VPN, you can get to your computer, and then boom, hey, bow, uh, you can get to the computer, get to the remote desktop protocol server, we all good, how about that? Instead of doing, instead of just taking stuff out of the game, is what I'm saying, let's just put an extra layer of protection over this stuff, man. And so they're saying, a lot of people, they look at it and they just say, oh my God, and it's like, hey, hey just raise the requirements, just raise the requirements for it if you got nothing up shut the f up it's a lot more simple than that you don't have to raise the requirements you don't have to make anything game changing mike listen to your boy i'm here for you y'all need my help every year i give my opinion every year just tied to momentum and acceleration just like me that's all you got to do and we know that you can tie bads to momentum and acceleration and things like that because you already did it with what chase down artists in NBA 2K16, I mean, where, 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 wherever Chase Down Artist first came out, I, I don't even know. I mean, it's too early in the morning for me to even go back and remember when Chase Down Artist first came out. But whatever the first 2K that had Chase Down Artist, I could be at the three-point line. I mean, uh, at the, at the uh, free throw line. You could be at the free throw line. None of us have any momentum. If you press the button for Chase Down, it would just suck you in, and then you're going to chase it down. And so they ended up tying that to momentum and speed and all of that speed, acceleration, momentum. You had to hit a certain threshold of momentum before it would allow you to chase down something from there. And then eventually they just legislated the badge out of the game, and now it's irrelevant. But if we could just do that with with uh, with with uh, limitless takeoff, I think we'll be good. Nobody's problem with limitless takeoff is when somebody's in open court and he's completely beats you and he takes off limitlessly and dunks the ball. I wasn't going to catch him anyway. My problem with limitless takeoff is this. When I'm here, I'm the defender in between him and the bucket, and we're both here at the, at the free throw line, and then he left right like that, right? He left right, and then he gets a half a step on me, and we're, 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 we're right here together, and then he just, whoo, 
he just takes off. That's what people's problem with limitless takeoff is. It's not the it's not the fact that you can do it. It's the circumstances under which the badge is activated. So I feel like if we can just do that, man, just tied to momentum, tied to speed, momentum, and stuff like that at the time. Because I don't want somebody to just dribble up into me. I get a I don't get a bump because the game don't allow you to get bumps. Then they do the they do the between the legs, and then he just takes off like with from a dead stop. If you could not do it from a dead stop or if you had very low momentum like if you had to reach max speed before you're able to to activate the highest level of limitless takeoff i think that'll be cool so let's say if you had that dead stop you should be activating bronze limitless takeoff at the most if you at half speed silver if you at three quarter speed then you can activate a goal you can do it get a gold limitless takeoff and if you at full speed and and we're not talking about full speed for you we're talking about like you would have to have like 90 speed to activate these higher tiers of it or something like that you know what i'm saying you, you we should not have people that have that have like like 70 speed activating activate limitless takeoff just because they got a bash it shouldn't be that way so that's this is just my two cents on it man tied to tied to speed momentum they're like like dr disrespect tied to speed momentum and acceleration and stuff like that just like you did limitless uh limitless block aka uh chase down artists just do it like that man and we should be good bro that's it man that's hey listen thank y'all I, I just say 2k for y'all man like I, I can do this in my sleep man again like i, I just got a higher uh i'm i'm i'm, I, I'm on a higher freak like y'all love saying that that dumb bull shit. I'm, I'm on a higher frequency than most people man and i don't even show up most of the time because i don't care but i what i really do care about is the game we got a lot of people out there that just want to put content out and they don't care about the game they don't care about the integrity of the game you don't got a lot of enough and the crazy part is the people that, that care about the game itself the most they get the least shine we don't got a lot of t mizzles out there we don't got a lot of brutal sins out there we don't got a lot of laker fans out there we don't got a lot of anonymous 2k tvs out there and people are this a lot more six six sevens a lot of it's a lot of people out there that really care about the integrity of the game but you know we just we just don't get no shine and that's cool but at least they listen to your boy man if you tie that badge to most to speed momentum and acceleration then we don't even have this this is not even a conversation because a lot of people are never going to go that high to be able to activate it you can equip it and it might pop here and there but it should only pop when you're like, you, you gotta have like 80, 90 speed or something like, so you gotta be a fast, you gotta be a fast motherfucker to jump from the free throw line, bro. I'm sorry, you can't be, you can't be somebody with 50 speed and you're jumping from the free throw line. Like it just is what it is. But again, just like Anonymous 2K TV says, as long as we got a game where you can dunk from the three point line and shoot from the hash, I mean, it's gonna be tough, man, to guard anybody. That's a lot of space. And then the dude with absolutely no adrenaline and no speed can get the corner on you and just take off, man. Just take the fuck off and there's nothing you can do it. But nah, bro, with, with no momentum from a dead stop, that's the problem. That's the problem. It's not, it's not nothing else. It's that from the dead stop. So tied to momentum, speed, and speed, momentum, aggression, whatever, whatever, man. Whatever you want to tie it to, man. Y'all gonna do what y'all want to anyway, man. So it really don't matter. I don't even know why I'm making this video. I'm going to f back to sleep, bro. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time. Again, I'm grumpy. Just I know this was funny. I know y'all probably dying in the comments, laughing. Jay, you a fool and all this stuff. I don't even feel like that right now. I'm I'm like, man, man, grind hard. I'm so serious right now. I am tired of you motherfuckers in the 2K community talking about shit that you have no idea about. And like it, it, I'm gone, man. I'm a holler, y'all. Peace. Guys, please. Guys, please.